Whoosh. Hello booktube! Last week I promised that I would show you my newly rearranged bookshelves. They are now in rainbow order. They've been in rainbow order before. And then I switched to alphabetical. And then I switched to just how I ranked the books, which was kind of difficult because I only have a ranking to a certain point. And even that is subject to moods and stuff. So I decided that it wasn't pretty enough and that I needed to put it in rainbow order. And rainbow order always makes bookshelves look more put together in like every bookshelf tour ever. The g books are at least grouped by color and I think that grouping books by color really, really, really helps the aesthetics of your bookshelves. So with that in mind, let's take a look at my bookshelf. Okay, so first up we have a bunch of picture books, and then we get to chapter books. I have two copies of Pride and Prejudice, and a copy of Northanger Abbey in the Puffin, um, no, Penguin Classics edition, which I really like. It's cloth bound. I have Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. I have a college thesaurus that was my mom's, and it's red, and so it goes great to make the red section a little bit bigger. Um, Crazy Love by Francis Chan. It's a non-fiction book. The Giver by Lois Lowry. <laughs> the Giver by Lois Lowry again. I have a paperback and a hardback. Um, a baby name book for writing. Um, a pretty yellow book called The Bourgeois Testament that I've never read and probably never will read. I really just got it because it was my favorite color. A Grief Observed by C.S. Lewis. It's a really good book and it's nice and short. Matilda by Roald Dahl. This is one of my favorite books of all time. And right now I have the Elsie series up here just because I'm rereading them. Um, the first two books are missing because I've already finished the first one and I'm currently reading the second one. Usually these are up in the attic though as I don't get to read them very often and I'm really just saving them so that my children can read them one day. Um, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, an amazing book, definitely got teary-eyed, and the movie's also worth seeing. Um, The One Year Bible, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This is the Puffin and Bloom edition, and it is so pretty, totally worth every penny spent. Um, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, has a pretty cover as well. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Persuasion by Jane Austen. And then we get into the blues. So it's kind of hard to figure out how to organize your blues, but I tended to go from lighter blue to darker blue with some variations in the middle. Um, Emma, Young House Love by Sherry and John Petersick. This is a decorating book and I haven't read it recently. Um, this is the fourth book in the Giver Quartet. It's called Sun by Lois Lowry. Really good book. Um, and then Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. This is another of the Puffin and Bloom editions, just like Little Women. Next we have I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith, author of 101 Dalmatians. Homer Price by Robert McCloskey. Praying Upside Down by Kelly O'Dell Stanley. Love Does by Bob Goff. The Harry Potter series 1 through 7, although 7 is currently being lent out. A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lengel. Looking for Lovely by Annie F. Downs. Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne. Agatha Christie and Then There Were None. I also have Murder on the Orient Express, but I'm letting my brother borrow it as of last night. Um, Radical by David Platt. Move Toward the Mess by John Hambrick. The Witch of Blackbird Pond by Elizabeth George Spear. Winter by Marissa Meyer. I really would like to collect the rest of that series as soon as possible. Hopefully all the covers can go in a specific section so that I can put that series together. That's the only bummer about organizing by color is that it's really hard to put series or books by the same author together. Charles Dickens, Great Expectations. A Tale of Two Cities, also by Charles Dickens. Mara, Daughter of the Nile by Eloise Jarvis McGraw. This is one of my favorite books, and I finally collected it. Elsie Dinsmore by Martha Finley. This is the unabridged version. 
and it is very, very old and pretty. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, my all-time favorite fiction book. Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte. Mysterious Benedict Society, books one through three. This is a great series, especially for, um, like, ten-year-olds. Even If Not by Caitlin Bouchelon, Living, Loving, and Learning in the In-Between. The Broken Way by Anne Voskamp. And Simply Tuesday by Emily P. Freeman. A lot of these are books that I've received for review. And they're Christian books by just a group of different authors and writers that I follow on Twitter. The Perfectly Imperfect Home by Deborah Needleman. That's another decorating book that I have not read in a very long time. These Happy Golden Years by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Writing Down the Bones by Natalie Goldberg. That's a great writing book. And Circle of Quiet, which is a great writing book and life book by Madeline Lengel. And it is my favorite nonfiction book of all time. So that is all that's on my bookshelf. But I also have a very, very, very long list of books that is on my TBR right now. And these are all books that I own and haven't read. And I'm going to run through them real quickly. Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Why Do We Say It? Um, author Unknown. Scarlet by Alexandra Ripley. Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. The End of Me by Kyle Eidelman. Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein. Dream a Little Dream by Kristen Gear. Lizzie and Jane by Catherine Rie. Little Princess, Frances Hodgson Burnett. Les Mis by Victor Hugo, Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie, The Beekeeper's Apprentice by Laurie R. King, The Help by Catherine Stockett, Flunked by Jen Kalanita, Becoming Jane Eyre by Shyla Kohler, The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham, Mosquito Land by David Arnold, A Wind in the Door by Madeline Lengel, Jody Picoult's The Storyteller, Storm Siren by Mary Weber, The Atonement Child by Francine Rivers, The Secret Keepers by Trenton Lee Stewart, author of The Mysterious Benedict Society, the Book of Three by somebody, Lloyd Alexander. Um, Jane Austen Made Me Do It by various authors. A Little Bit Wicked by Kristen Chenoweth. The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. The Three Theban Plays by Sophocles, or however you say that. Um, the Bookstore by Deborah Myler. Daring to Live on the Edge by Lauren Cunningham. Alice I Have Been by Melanie Benjamin, Jane and the Unpleasantness at Scargrave Manor by Stephanie Barron, The Evolution of a Creationist by Job Martin, um, Death on the Nile again by Agatha Christie, I have two copies of that that need to be read, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, author of The Lunar Chronicles, Home by Julie Andrews, Not Without Laughter by Langston Hughes, The Little Bookstore of Big Stone Gap by Wendy Welch, Blink by Malcolm Gladwell, What the Dog Saw by Malcolm Gladwell, The Good and Beautiful God, um, by somebody Smith, and The Nesting Place by Michael and Smith, and I also have Jane Eyre on my desk that I need to read, and I'm reading Elsie series right now, and I also have The Complete Works of William Shakespeare on my desk, which I will not be um, reading anytime soon. So those are all my books and my newly rearranged bookshelf, and don't forget, the book was better. <laughs>